There they are. That's awesome. All right, what's going on everybody? We're back with another film developing tutorial and today I'm gonna to be going over the E6 process for developing color positive film. Um, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be using some film from my old archive bags. These are just some bags of film that I never developed because I didn't have enough time, money, or I just didn't have the right chemicals for it. Um, for this one, I have two rolls of Fuji Velvia 100 that I shot in about July 2018. And at the time, I just never had E6 chemicals. I actually cross-processed one of the rolls that I shot at the time with my C41 process that's linked in the description. But I never got to try out actually doing the color positive film process. So today we're gonna to be going over that um, with these two old rolls that I shot. So let's just go ahead and get into the materials. Um, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the Arista Rapid E6 color positive film process. I'll put a picture up here of the one that I actually bought. Um, I think I got it from freestylephoto.com. Um, around $30 for a one quart mixture and it comes in liquid tubes and basically what you do is you get your um, water set to a specific temperature and then you pour in your chemicals while mixing it and then I poured each three into these um, amber glass bottles. So the first step is going to be developer, um, the next step is going to be color developer and then the final step is going to be blitz with washes all in between each step and at the start and finish and the main thing for shooting color or for developing color positive film is that you're going to want to make sure your temperatures are really on point or else you're going to get kind of a, a skewed color scheme the next thing you're going to need is a patterson developing tank which comes with the agitation stick a light tight lid and also the um, the two film reels. Today we're going to be developing 35 millimeter film, so we'll use these two. If you want to develop um, 120 film, you're going to go ahead and just bring this apart and set it to the medium format sizing. But like I said, today we're going to go ahead and do 35 millimeter film. So let's go ahead and get the film ready. Uh, um, two other things that you're going to want to have uh, just to make things easier are your thermometer and also a squeegee for film the drying the film off at the end. And also some optional things as well are gloves and a rag as well as a funnel to get the chemicals back in. So like I said to start we're going to do, we're going to need to make sure everything's at the right temperature. I'm going to be using um, a developing process where everything is set to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I'll do to start is just put my sink on as high as it can go temperature wise and then just let these heat up until they're at around 105, maybe even 110 for these, these two since they're at the end of the process. So let's go ahead and heat the chemicals up. Just following Arista, the company that's producing these chemicals, I'm going to just follow their process. And for the steps that are at all 105 degrees Fahrenheit, just to make it as quick as possible. So here's, I just wrote it out to make it a little bit easier. The first step is going to be to wash for 60 seconds at 105 degrees Fahrenheit. The next step is going to be the developer one with inversion cycles every 30 seconds and that's going to be for a total of six and a half minutes and then after that we're going to dump it back into the 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 original chemical bottle that it was in and then i'm going to wash the film out again with water at 105 degrees fahrenheit and i'm going to wash it out not too fast but i'm going to try and just put water in it dump it out put water in it dump it out in a relatively quick manner just to get all the old chemicals out of there and I'm going to do that about seven to ten times. The next step is going to be the color developer which goes on for four and a half minutes and you're going to have the same inversion cycles which I'll show you while I'm doing the process every 30 seconds 
After that, you're gonna wash it out with the same process of seven to 10 dump cycles. And then you're gonna put your Blix in, again, 105 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes, and you're gonna do those same inversion cycles. Once you're done with that Blix, you can wash the film out for about five, 10 minutes. It doesn't really matter exactly how long you do it. You wanna just make sure all the chemicals are out. And then once everything's out, we'll go ahead and take a look at the film, see what it looks like, and then hang it dry. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put my process down over here, and then let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna go put my film on the reels in my bathroom. Just turn off all the lights, make sure there's no light coming in, put them on the reels, and then I'll meet you back here to actually start the process. All right, so we have our film inside of the Patterson tank now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that the film is all at the right temperature. And if it is, I'll go ahead and get started with the first wash. Again, we're looking for that 105 degree Fahrenheit range. A few more, a few less, that's okay, but anything more than five degrees off and you might see some color variations. It's only at 75 right now, so it's gonna be a little while. All right, so right now, the thermometer's in the first developer, and I'm at about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which means, and it's been climbing. So it's about to be at the temperature we're looking for. for so for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the water heated up to about 105 as well, just to get started for the first wash. All right, so the water is at 105 now. It looks to me like it might be a little hot though, climbing. So I'm gonna get out my phone for the timer and go ahead and hit stopwatch. And if you hit stopwatch on the clock app and on iPhones and then slide to the right, you have a better kind of stopwatch helper. So the water's at 105 now, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the film under. And I'll start the timer right now once it's full. I'll start it now. And we'll go for one minute. I'll go ahead and turn the water off. Just let it soak a little bit now too. So I usually let the water run for about 30 seconds and then I just let it soak for the next 30 seconds while I keep an eye on the temperature of the film, the chemicals rather. So we're about at 45 seconds and the first developer looks like it's at a good enough temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on. All right, so go ahead and dump out the water and you're gonna see kind of a, a tinted color. That's. If you leave your water um, running the whole time, it, will, it should look like regular water, but if you don't, then it's gonna look like um, a lot, kind of like bluish purple color. So as you can see, this is my first developer. I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up a little bit. And this is gonna be for six and a half minutes. So I'm gonna be ending at, I'm starting at one and a half, so I'll be ending at about eight minutes. I'll go a little bit later since, um, gonna take me about 15 seconds to actually put the chemicals in. All right, so I'll set this aside and then I'm gonna just use the agitation stick for about 15 seconds at the start. And then from there, so now I'm at about two minutes 
and I have about six full minutes left. And I'm gonna be doing the, my inversion cycles like I had mentioned every 30 seconds. So I'll show you what that looks like in, in just a minute. So I'll put the lid on just to make sure nothing gets spilled out or anything like that. And then I usually get my funnel so I know exactly which bottle to put the chemicals back in. So I'm at the two minute and 30 mark and I'm gonna go ahead and just do some inversion cycles like this. Nothing too speedy, just flipping the container over while I'm rolling it a little bit so that the, film, the chemicals spread all over the film. So I'm gonna do just about three, maybe four or five um, every 30 seconds. And then once I'm done, I just hit it just to tap all the film, the chemicals off the film and get a reset. And then I'll let this go for another 30 seconds and then I'll do that again. Um, I also like to make sure that my other two chemicals are staying at 105 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm right now I'm just assuming that they're starting to cool down a little bit. They might be getting towards 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna just reset the water and then I'll reheat the chemicals to make sure they stay at 105 degrees the whole time. So this is at 30 seconds again. I'm gonna go ahead and do the inversion cycles. Just let that water run just so that it can heat up and then I'll fill the bucket up. Give it few taps again. One thing I didn't mention at the beginning of the video is that for color positive film with this specific E6 process, for your first developer, you're gonna wanna add 30 seconds every two rolls that you develop. So I've only used this specific batch one other time. So I'm actually gonna add 30 seconds to this process just because I've used it um, for two rolls already. So just make sure you keep that in mind or else it might affect the color for the developing time. So it's at 30 seconds again, I'll go ahead and give it another inversion cycle. All right, so we're rounding eight minutes now, and I'm gonna go ahead and do my, I might do one inversion cycle after this, but I'm gonna let it sit for an extra 15 to 30 seconds since the chemicals have been used before. And then I'm gonna dump them out. Let's just make sure that the water's at 105 though for our wash. So I'll do like a little baby inversion real quick while I'm letting that water heat up. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump the developer, the first developer back in. All right, so go ahead and wash off your other um, anything that was touching the first developer, you don't want any cross contamination. And then I would just go ahead and set that first bottle aside just to get it out of the way. Um, so the next step is gonna be the wash. Like I had said, it's at, the water's at about 100 degrees now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that. Like I had said in the beginning, you're gonna wanna just fill the water, fill the container up with water. Um, about seven times and just dump it out. Make sure all those, the old developers just out of the container because you don't want any of that in there when you dump your next developer in. So you can see it takes a little while to get off. Um, just gonna make sure it's at the right temperature. And the next step is gonna be 
the color developer. So just get that bottle ready. Make sure you have the right one. Don't don't confuse the two bottles. That's a big problem and I've done that before. You don't want to deal with that. So this is still at 105, so that's looking good. The next step is gonna be four and a half minutes. And for the color developer and for the Blix, it doesn't matter how many times you've used it, you don't have to change the um, the time, the length of the time for any of those two chemicals, so that's kind of convenient. So that's about good for the wash. Let's go ahead and shake the chemical, or the color developer, just to make sure everything's spread around. And then take a look at your timer just to see what four and a half minutes will be from that point. I'm starting at about 11 minutes now. So I'll go until um, 15 and a half minutes, maybe 16 minutes, uh, depending on, no, I'll go until 15 and a half minutes based off of uh, this, um, this time that I'm using right now. So again, I'll use the agitation stick. I'm gonna wash that off just to make sure. Use the agitation stick for the first 15 seconds just to spread the chemicals all around. And then wash that off. Wash everything else off. Um, then I'll go ahead and put the funnel into the, whatever bottle is gonna be getting the chemicals back into it, that's what I always put the funnel back into, just so I know. You never wanna confuse the bottles and pour chemicals into one of the other ones, because then they're just a waste. So now that the color developer's in, we're gonna do this for four and a half minutes, and we're gonna use those same inversion cycles for this process again. All right, I'm at 14, and 14 minutes and about 50 seconds right now. I'm gonna do my last inversion cycle for the color developer, and then I'm gonna pour the chemicals back into the amber glass bottle, and then I'll do my wash. So let's just tap this up, and then I'll rinse this off real quick. Let's go ahead and get the water set to 105 again, so that um, it's ready for when you need to wash it out. Uh, we're almost at 15.30 now. All right, so we're at 15.30. Let's go ahead and dump that back in. Nice and artsy color. Make sure all that's out. And then let's just go ahead and start washing it if it's at the right temperature, which it's not. Uh, feels like it is, but my thermometer is pretty slow. I'm gonna go ahead and start washing it out, just get everything out. Yeah, it's at about 100 degrees right now. I think it's climbing to 105. So let's just get all the color developer out. Doesn't look like there's any more color develop in there, developer in there. I'm gonna do one last rinse out, and then we'll put the Blix in, which is gonna go for an even 10 minutes every single time. Let's just wash this off one last time before we start. <laughs> All right, so looks like we're set. Let's go ahead and shake up the Blix. My timer's at 17 and a half minutes. So I'm gonna do 10 minutes starting at 18 minutes. So that'll end me at 28 minutes flat on my timer. All right, and I like to do the same process with Blix. First 15 seconds with an agitation stick. The manual doesn't really say to do that, but I kind of just stay consistent with the, 
15 seconds of agitation for all my film developing um, processes. I think it does a better job of spreading all the chemicals out right when um, you pour them into the Patterson tank. Let's go ahead and put the lid on. And then we'll do our inversion cycles every 30 seconds. Finally almost done. And the best part about E6 color positive film processing is that you're gonna get to see the photos right after, right when you take, take them out of the bucket. We don't have to wait until we go scan them or anything like that. So that's always like a super, super rewarding process and kind of a super rewarding feeling. with the blip, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump it out. And then I'm gonna wash for five minutes, just leave the water running for five minutes straight at um, the same 105 degrees Fahrenheit. That's just to get anything that's left in the Patterson tank out so that when you go to scan, you're gonna have nice clean, um, clean negatives, or positives rather. So I'll go ahead and leave the timer on until about 32 minutes. Wash everything off in the meanwhile. This is a good time to just clean everything else up because you're just gonna leave the water running anyways. And then go ahead and also get your squeegee ready. Just for when um, this five minutes is up, that's when we get to see the photos finally. This looks like a little bit high. I'll leave it in for another minute and then I'll check it. And then after that is the moment of truth. We're at 32 minutes, that's close enough, and I'm ready. So let's just go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna just dump the water out. And let's take a look. There they are. That's awesome. You can see all of them right there as color positives. Um, you can see the difference, they're not like color negatives where it's a red tone and you can't see anything. That's awesome. So let's go ahead and squeegee this off. You can see there's all different types of color tones in this when you get some light behind it as well. Even got a selfie in there right there. <laughs> Let's flip this over there. That's awesome. Some photos at the beach. Okay, let's hang this dry and then we'll take a look at the next roll. Well. Oh, these are looking cool. some light leaks and some burns on this roll too. I don't know, I, I don't remember exactly what I was shooting at the time, but this looks pretty cool. Maybe it got exposed. There's some portraits here. Yeah, it looks like the camera got a little bit exposed right here. And then at the bottom, there's some, um, there's some better exposures. Looks like in the city before coronavirus. All right, let's go ahead and hang these dry. All right, so I just finished up my E6 developing process. The film is in the bathroom hanging up to dry right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap this up here and then I'll show some of the scans once I'm done. But 
I hope you enjoyed the film process. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to me on Instagram at Matt underscore Maloney. Um, I hope you enjoyed and peace out. Have a good one.